We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Looking to throw again on second down. Dalton, they'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Andy Dalton now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for John Ross that time. That'll bring up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again, Dalton. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking for his favorite target, A.J. Green, that time. But now it'll be third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. This will be Dalton again. He finds his running back, Mixon. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. It's not too often you see a holder putting that football down right on the midfield stripe. 60 yards, Charles, but a little bit too much to bite off there. Yeah, it's good to show confidence in your kicker. That might have been just a little bit too much. I guarantee you, as you just noted, putting it down on the midfield stripe, the holder's thinking to himself, that's a long way. Probably not as confident as well. An opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Again, it's Connor. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Defense. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. James Connor, his third touchdown of the game and fourth on the year as his guys continue to pour it on. There is no doubt in my mind. And do you hear that? Do you hear the... It, it's not scales, right? No. I don't hear scales. Do I actually hear a tune being warbled? I think the fat lady's humming. Yeah, she's doing more than humming. She's, she's building it out she's right going. now. She's full bore. Yeah, this thing is flat out finished. Boswell good with the extra point, And that will extend this big lead. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be fielded at the six. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. They're the last go around for them. They tried that really, really long field goal. Couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position. The ball comes out, you know, there. That, that only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it's a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed, confident in their defense that they could hold him. To throw again on second down. Dalton. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing, Dalton, and his throw's gonna be incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. Call it a gain of five. And that's going to bring up a third down. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Another chance for Dalton. And that is incomplete. 
But at this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Let's go, baby. So here are the Steelers to take over on offense. They are trying to snap that three-game losing streak on top so far with the football here first and ten. They start the drive with Connor. And they're able to get this one across the 35. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Connor on first down, not going to get a whole lot. Maybe a couple. Second down coming up. Now it appears we have a Steeler here slow to get up. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. On second down, it's Snell. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Check tight. Slam. Slam. X3. 218. Chop it. Watch the backer. Watch the backer. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. I got you. I got you. Deep grip. Deep grip. Here's Snell yet again. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there at a first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. And this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. 80 weapon. 52 is the mic. Check. 52 is the mic. Switch up. Switch up. They'll go with Snell here on first down. Still churning. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Down. 15, Ronnie. 15, Ronnie. 20, 64, weak. Snap. On first down, it's Samuels. And down inside the 15 he goes. Here we go. Here we go. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Steelers, it took a few weeks, but they finally get their first one of the season here in week four. And they'll get to 